In our last stop on the Zero Trust journey today, we're going to look at the data center. That's kind of the crown jewels of where the applications have. When we think about how we do traditional macro level segmentation, we have some hierarchy of segmentation within the data center. So we've started off kind of as you look here is we've got different VLANs associated for the different application tiers. Maybe web app is in one VLAN, the app tier is in another, and the database in an um, in addition to that, maybe we leverage some routing technologies like VRFs and insert firewalls to perform some east-west inspection within the data center. Now, this is a very good start to align to some of our zero trust principles around no implicit trust least, and least privilege access. It can very quickly become difficult to manage and complex and hard to achieve scale. And so what we really want to do in the data center is begin to lock things down based on the application traffic, so that only the applications can talk to the other applications that they need to, to perform their function. This gets us really to align to some of these principles of a zero trust architecture, by meaning of we are not gonna trust everything in the data center to talk to each other. When we start leveraging micro segmentation tools within the data center, we can align to least privilege access, where the web tier and the app tier maybe only need to talk to each other, but the web tier never talks to the database tier. And we can per start performing that least privilege access via applying zero trust network access policies and architecture within the data center. And then lastly, we start performing layers of segmentation and we talk back to where we assume that there's been a breach. This really helps limit our blast radius from a exposure perspective. Um, so from a business perspective, it lowers risk of exposure and lowers the, the effect of a potential breach. By adopting these in the data center, we've closely aligned kind of all places in the network to how we would map to a zero trust architecture. Hopefully this has been very informative for you today. Feel free to reach out to a and and your account manager to have a further discussion on this and dive deeper into some of these different places in the network and architectural principles.